and Travis mentioned we're thinking of streaming our game on Twitch. We don't know if people are going to watch it. You know, um, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll probably stop after like two two sessions or something. Uh, so I got involved uh, because I've been friends with Liam O'Brien for quite a few years. Um, and he mentioned to me at one point uh, that he had a home D&D game with a couple of friends, you know, just super chill. And he wanted a commission of their party. And he said, would you be interested in doing that? And I said, yes, absolutely. And then completely forgot about it, as you do. Um, and then I came to an MCM uh, and Laura and Travis were guesting there. And through the course of conversation, they kind of realized, oh, you're the artist friend. And I was like, oh, you're two of the D&D friends. Um, and Travis mentioned we're thinking of streaming our game on Twitch. We don't know if people are going to watch it, you know, um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll probably stop after like two, two sessions or something, but we could do with some broadcast artwork. Would you be interested in doing that for us? And, you know, that sounded like fun. So I said yes. Um, and I did the, the character designs and the artwork for it and stuff. And then it just kind of, you know, and, and now we're here, I guess. So people kept watching. So yeah, it, it was um, just kind of right place, right time kind of thing. The cast are so, um, I mean, they're so good at what they do. The fact that it's actors, the role play is super compelling to watch. Um, Matt is an excellent storyteller. They're all really good storytellers, but Matt is such a, a solid DM. He knows what he's doing to run a good game. And I think it's also that people, like the audience kind of hooks into the characters. They identify with them and they, get emotionally invested and I think that's how you get people to be loyal and to really care about something is when you get them to make that emotional investment and they feel like they can identify with what they're watching um, and I think the guys are such brilliant storytellers that it just gets the audience to kind of really invest in that way so yeah I think it's I think it's that I think they're also just really easy people to like so yeah I think that helps it it was nerve-wracking. I was the only non you know, like, not a professional actor at all, so the only person that didn't really know what I was doing in the room. Um, but at the same time, because they are so good at what they do, it made it easier to kind of not feel self-conscious because they give you more to bounce off and stuff. Um, so I was in good hands. It was obviously very exciting. I knew a couple of them already, but um, going into the studio that night was like my first time meeting a couple of them, I think, I, I, yeah, some of them I, I hadn't met before. I, I certainly hadn't met Sam before. So it was nerve wracking because I was meeting them for the first time and it was being thrown in at the deep end, but really good fun. And again, like Matt's a great DM, so getting to interact and, and stuff, it was very easy to kind of get sucked in. So yeah, it was really good. I had a lot of people ask after the episode what her backstory was and what the deal with her sisters was and stuff. And I'd, I've been in comics for about 10 years and I'd been wanting to, I'd been wanting a reason to kind of do a project of my own for a while. Um, and I just kind of thought, well, two birds, one stone, that could be interesting doing a comic to kind of do that. And then it, it sort of evolved from just telling her backstory into, oh, there's, there's a whole backlog of, of story ideas and characters that I've had waiting in the wings for ages. I could knit this together into something. But having Lilith as that sort of, um, like the linchpin that holds it all together and have her as the main character, it was a nice vehicle for kind of doing a bunch of stuff at the same time. And it's, I'm super flattered that people are interested, like that they, they want to know what, what's happening. So yeah, so that's been really cool. Um, so there's there's quite a lot to come at the moment we're people keep asking me like how is how long is it gonna run for and perhaps uh, rather optimistically and a little unwisely my answer is as long as it takes um, but yeah we're, we're sort of in the first arc at the moment there's gonna be like a nice uh, overarching plot that's going on um, some challenges that will get thrown in the way at the moment we're very much in the stage of kind of introducing the main cast kind of issue by issue so that you know, you get a good uh, chunk of story to get used to each character before we introduce someone new. So it's kind of setting the stage. It's 
um, establishing Lilith as a main character, it's establishing the others and bringing them in because obviously people have no idea who they are. So it's it's kind of that initial stage of getting people invested and again getting the audience to hook in and stuff. But there's some there's some exciting stuff to come. There's some spooks to come and maybe a little bit of romance, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it.